Believe it or not, it doesn't really matter whether the little event that occurred at the Oscars last night was staged or whether it was real. I know some people are questioning that going forward. Marquis, how can you say it's the same thing? It's exactly the same thing when you divorce yourself from the emotion of it and you do the logic puzzle both forward and backward. It comes out to the exact same thing. Whether they planned it, for those of you who are unaware, the thing with Will Smith walking up on stage and taking a swing at Chris Rock, it doesn't matter whether they planned it ahead of time or whether he did it impetuously. Because the desired effect is the same thing. If it was planned, what was their goal? To evoke an emotion from the audience. If it was impulsive and something that was decided on the spot just by the one person, what was his goal? To evoke an emotion. And that's all it was about. He wanted to feel something, and he wanted other people to see him feeling something. Whether he planned it or not, it doesn't matter. Now, the reality is this. How you spend your money is how you vote on what exists in the world. The real story of what that's all about out on the West Coast, we've been talking about here at this channel for a couple of years. How there is a giant culture difference even though we may exist on the same piece of land the same continent florida and california might as well be two different cultures completely spartans and athenians we are clearly clearly an independent nation things like that would not occur here in florida they occur in california because you have a bunch of hyper-wealthy, emotionally driven people that have no ability to think about anything. No ability to actually do the logic work that would say, okay, if I do this, then what? And then if that happens, what happens after that? This is the key. This has always been the key. 2020 has just illuminated this. States' rights is the only way. Who saw the little event with uh, um, the three women saying the don't say gay, don't say gay thing? Why would Californians care about what's going on in Florida? It gives you an insight. There's nothing the law that was just signed earlier today by Governor DeSantis could do to affect life in California. Why would they care? It doesn't even affect life in Georgia or Alabama or Tennessee or Mississippi. Why? Why would they care? Why would we see this? Why would we see such a different response over the last two years to all of the upheaval and all of the problems? Why would we see this if we're all just America, if we're all just one group of people, one culture with one direction and one belief system? You wouldn't see the wild swings in difference between California and Florida, between Texas and Michigan. We're much farther apart now than even Europe is. The French have a lot more in common with the Germans than the Floridians and Californians do right now. We're going to do a much deeper dive on this over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel because it's such a good example. It is such a good example that, once again, it doesn't really matter, does it, if they planned it or not. The same psychological dysphoria that would plan it ahead of time is the same psychological dysphoria that would have caused the one individual to do it impetuously. There's no difference, either in what happened before or the eventual outcome. You see, they weren't plan on, planning on people asking a question. Where are all the feminists? And why does Jada Pinkett Smith need a man to fight her battles for her? Is anybody asking that question? I thought, I thought chivalry, which is apparently what we're supposed to believe here, 
was uh, just another form of toxic masculinity, like you would find, for example, in Florida. See, we're just, we're just a bunch of morons down here that would do that kind of stuff, you know, hold open doors, call men men, women women, women dress like women, men dress like men. You know, this whole chivalry thing, this old antiquated, nostalgic uh, way of doing things from the 20th century and the 19th century. How does that jive? How does that whole scene that was caused, once again, whether staged or not, how does that fit into their culture? You see, nobody actually thought about it. Whether they planned it or whether it was impetuous, no thinking was involved of any kind. And that gives you such an advantage over your enemy. One U.S. dollar. One per month. That said, it's even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable in the first 90 days. We've got quite a few people over there now, and it's making a difference. Being able to partner with Vimeo, they'll tell you down in the comments, they don't censor over there. In fact, I've had people come to me and say that, Florida Maquis, you should censor more. You should censor even more over there because I saw things and they made my, my eyeballs hurt. And I'm no longer supporting you because the truth was just too much to handle. Psychological operations. It is not for the faint of heart. It is not for you folks out there who love to clutch your pearls and waggle your high and mighty little fingers about morality at people. If you think that's how wars are won, you are largely deceived. War is ugly, and it starts in the mind. 24 cognitive biases, 24 logical fallacies. See, there's another question a lot of people don't ask either. Why isn't there a huge film industry in Florida? Why are filmmakers fleeing Florida and going to liberal Georgia? Is the sun setting on film in Florida? Hmm. This is from 2018. This has been the case for some time. Florida is just as beautiful as any other state. We have as many beaches. We have historical places that you could probably only film certain films here. Because we're the only place that has it. This is a scene from Naples. We have the Fountain of Youth. We have so many places that would make for absolutely wonderful films, yet Hollywood doesn't want anything to do with us. Why? Ask yourself that question, and I'll leave it there. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful week. Once again, would love to join, have you, pardon me, join us over Patreon, one US dollar. Would love to see you there. God bless. Take care. See you tomorrow.